just uh, a quick walk out in the woods in Kent where all the bluebells are up these beautiful bluebell glades really pretty it's definitely spring Blackthorn's out There's in it. Wait. <laughs> All the ransoms are coming out. All wild garlic. A bit misty. That'll burn off as the day goes on. Right, I'm off to the wood tomorrow. Uh, with a friend but we're not predicted very good weather it's supposed to be raining tomorrow night and then the next morning it's supposed to be quite cold so I saw these in Poundland I uh, thought I'd grab one and see if we can just get a fire going really quickly that next morning and see how it goes just to get warm straight away so for a pound it's, uh, it's worth a, an experiment Yeah, those pound shop logs are quite good for first thing in the morning. If you just want to get a fire going really quickly and you're cold and it's damp as it is today after last night's rain. Uh, yeah, and now I've just some, put some more logs in, the damp logs that got rained on. But um, it seems to be keeping the fire going, so that's really good. I like that. I might get a couple more of those just for sort of emergencies or first thing in the morning when you're desperate to get a fire. Big tent. Very big tent. <laughs> I had a bit of a brick disaster last night. I don't normally build such a big fire and one of the bricks or two of the bricks decided to um, split and spit so that was a bit uh, of a, you know, a fail really but the other bricks I'm using seem fine, so... But, I've got a washing machine drum, so I'm thinking of trying to build a fire pit out of a washing machine drum, and it can be put on legs, so I don't have to worry about burning the ground. So that's my next little project over the next couple of days, if I can get it sorted. So I'm using the little through-night charger to charge my friend's phone up. Um, these are great, they're just tiny and they take the big lithium batteries which goes in the through night head torch as well so they're really quite handy having a big sort of power source There's Mel trying to dry her tent <laughs> Eggs and beans, sausages and bacon Things cooked in the can. Nearly done. I uh, came across an old washing machine uh, that had been thrown out, so I couldn't resist but grabbed the drum. Bit of um, brute force was <laughs> needed because it was attached to the plastic inside and it was trying to free the bearings, but after a lot of uh, thumping and banging. I actually managed to get it out, so that's what it looks like at the moment. Um, I'm just going to turn that the other way around. It's quite a big drum, but would make a really good fire pit. So I'm trying to think of what modifications to do to it at the moment. I um, mean, obviously across the top I should maybe try and organise some sort of grill top um, and put a leg system on it. It's a bit difficult with the legs at the moment because the um, the bolts which are holding the main bracket at the back is they're absolutely rusted through so it might be that I have to get the drill out and try and drill those out. I don't know yet but I'll uh, let you know how it goes. I'm sure it'll make a really good fire pit. 
Yeah, any suggestions um, or any videos you can um, recommend, that would be great. Let's see how it goes with this. I'm going to do a bit more research before I do much more to it.